Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back at you with another video, The Hanger Step, and subscribe if you haven't already. I keep coming out with more and more content just showing you some different hype items. You know, everybody's got a legit check. Somehow, having different people reviewing these items is the best way to do that. This item from Palace actually did come with a little bit of a hole in it. This one is from UPS. And then I got this other item from I don't know who. <laughs> this one is USPS, and this one also almost has a hole in it as well, so I mean, shipping companies are just working fast. They're working as quickly as they can to get people their items. It's rough out there right now. And this bag actually isn't even air sealed at all. I could totally just reach my hand in there and pull out the palace item. Let me first, let's see, what is this here? Got this sticker receipt for this ballistic shot bag in gold. And then we have our paper return information that they love to give everybody. <laughs> Not too many trees saved there. Let's go ahead, break into this palace item. Like this video, show me you want me to keep pushing out content, and uh, I'll, I'll definitely do that. Oh, sweet, look at this. Got our palace sticker right here in black. I didn't even know that this was 3M, this palace on here. On the picture, it just looks white, so that is a really cool fact. Here's the sticker on that plastic, you know. You want to see that, right? You have your palace emblem on the plastic there as well. Some warning information on the back. It's not a great space helmet. It does not work. You'd think it would because, you know, Okay, never mind. Nobody would think that, but maybe some. <laughs> maybe some people would. Okay, so on here you have some branding, even on this clasp, this uh, strap for your shoulder, and then they just kind of fold it all up with some paper. Take that off of there, and then you have all of these tags on here. You got your palace trifer, just a super thick tag there, and then you have your white standard palace tag with that same sticker on there that was on the bag. And then you have your Cordura, since they were in collaboration with this one. Basically made it so you have to cut this to get this off of here. Now we're ready to actually check it out. On the back you have this strap here, so you know, if you need to just carry it around your waist, you know, like the mailman would, you can just strap it on your waist belt or something like that. If you wanna strap it actually on, you can do that as well. You just gotta lengthen these out a little bit, these straps. All right, there we go, that's about right. And you can match it with a fit way better than I did today, because I was kind of pre-matching and I was thinking, yeah, it's gold. So it's totally like a green color, I would say. I mean, yeah, it's got gold on there. It's definitely a really great example of gold, I guess, but it is leaning on the more olive color. And then you've got obviously forest green on the side here. It does expand out, so it's kind of wide here as well. You've got your zipper pocket on the back here just a little spare pocket back there for something really flat and thin and then your inside pocket very massive you do have this little uh, key grabber thing right here key hook strap whatever you want to call it on the inside you do have a palace sewn in brownish tag and then like even on the fabric you can see the palace is sort of inlaid on there you see that, that palace print is sort of on that fabric and then you've got your palace sewn in there you got your Cordura fabric brand tag. And then in there you also have your Palace Skateboards Ballistic Shot Bag. One other thing is you have this front pocket as well for your chapstick or for your pen maybe if you got a really short one or something like that. Should be nice and durable for all you people out there trying to destroy your bags like I do. I have actually this Supreme shoulder bag that I bought back when it released in 2018. And so you're looking right there, that Palace bag is is a little bit smaller. The Palace bag has more width to it than the Supreme one does. They're both Cordura fabric. And then also like the utility pouch that Supreme made, that's also another good example. So this Palace bag is obviously way bigger than this utility pouch. This was great for my passports and you know different things when I was traveling around in Europe. Well, the only thing about this bag is that these straps on the side, I actually had to replace one of them. Yeah, it was this one here. It just wasn't sewn very well on there and it just broke while I was actually traveling. But it was okay because the zipper closes and then I just hooked this thing to the zipper actually. So that worked out. But anyways, yeah, this palace bag, it does have 3M on this rope. You can probably already tell because I got lights everywhere. So it's probably just shining a little bit here and there. But yeah, very solid bag, very nice. And I mean, if you wanted to make it a waist bag, you definitely probably could because 
of this clasp here and because of how tight these go these go really short actually i'll probably just rock it just like this i like not having to have things in my pockets especially when i'm traveling because i feel like pickpocketing is way too common and i'm like really paranoid about it i don't know why but anyways enough about that let's get into this second item that i have no clue it just arrived and i wanted to check it out oh nice actually this is my lecrae shirt that i got from his most recent release that he did restoration probably is not gonna go <laughs> that well with this fit I did get this in a size large because I was thinking look cray probably just went with a generic sort of brand he did put a sticker tag on here looks really similar to like a supreme sticker tag it's even got that barcode on there and then the restoration text on here is actually embroidered that's what really drew me to this shirt you do have to break it open in order to wear it yeah this one if somebody hasn't opened the plastic yet then uh, you can definitely get a shirt that hasn't been touched before but i gotta check everything out so here we go i was really excited for this quote obviously i'll show you guys this restoration look at that embroidery Pretty good quality. The quote on the back of this tee is what really drew me to pull the plug and purchase the tee. I really wanted to walk around and rep that quote on there. It's gonna be hard for people to read, I guess, but if they take the time, like if you're in line, it says, it's been a long journey. I've learned that God is relational not transactional. He wants to walk with us on our way toward restoration. I'm being restored every day. And then you got his signature right there. Lecrae's got a great uh, backstory to his life, which has been through a lot, and he's had to overcome a lot of things in his life. Could have destroyed it, but he stayed strong. So I'll go ahead, I'll throw this on anyways. We'll see how it works. It's pretty wide, actually. It looks like a standard size large, honestly, but it is pretty wide, especially up on the shoulders. It's wider than just a, any old size large. On here, he does have have some text actually on the back of the neck. There's your back of the neck tag and then also with his 116 verse that he loves so much. But yeah, let me go ahead and I'll throw this one on. And yeah, definitely fits really, really loose. This material also feels really thin. This cotton that he went with, it's a super, super lightweight cotton, just crazy thin. So it breathes really well. And I mean, that embroidery just really like sucks in and morphs the cotton so much because that cotton is really thin, but I think it works. I really do dig it. And uh, there's the back. Anybody want to see that? Let me know what your thoughts are on this tee. If you think it's dope or, you know, if you don't like it, that's, that's okay too. Definitely give me a thumbs down if it's not a good tee, but I think it is and I love Lecrae. So I also love the NBA, but I have not been talking to anybody about it on my channel or anything like that because I don't feel like I'm knowledgeable enough about it to really be somebody to speak on it. But Jamal Murray, like <laughs> I'm telling you, he has been going off the last few games I've been watching. Normally in the series, he's you know doing all right you know he's like you know mediocre basketball player i mean he's pretty good he's got a lot of energy and everything like that but these last few games 50 points 42 points 50 points again i mean come on that dude is on fire and if the nuggets keep having this luck with him it's gonna be kind of crazy these playoffs have been really fun i mean it's all been in the bubble i really enjoy just having it back it's really encouraging to me and gets me out of that depressed state speaking of depressed state let me go ahead and read this quote to you real quickly and this on a positive note from robert m Sapowski. On an incredibly simplistic level, you can think of depression as occurring when your cortex thinks an abstract thought and manages to convince the rest of the brain that this is as real as the physical stressors. There's so many things that my brain can convince me of and then I just start stressing out, you know, like over this weekend, I got in a car accident and I thought it was just going to be way worse than it ended up being. I mean, I had to sell some of my stuff to be able to pay for it, whatever. I mean, I like collecting these items and they have value to them. Other people are willing to buy them for me. I'm so grateful for that. I mean, I really love art and I enjoy those art pieces that are really limited. So anyways, besides the fact, people, we get so caught up in our own brains. We really just need to think of the other person as having our best interests. We can have their best interests and then we can just cultivate this more ethical society where we're looking out for each other and realize on a really deep level, every single human being is beautiful and worthy of love. Each of us desires so much love. We always want that. I'm definitely a love addict and I think we can really push our world in a positive direction if we realize we can just show people love and that's gonna be the thing that unites us because all these other things around I mean they ain't gonna do it bro so anyways love y'all thanks for checking out the video with this ballistic bag and uh, see you in the next one